Implement Tasks That Promote Reasoning and Problem Solving by Angela Romano, Victoria Romano, and Lindsay Carlson. To fully understand the concept of implementing tasks that promote reasoning and problem solving, we should first look at the definition of the concept. Effective teaching of mathematics engages students in solving and discussing tasks that promote mathematical reasoning and problem solving and allow multiple entry, entry points and varied solution strategies. It is important that we gauge our students in discussions, problem-solving activities, and accept a variety of different problem-solving strategies because this allows our students to gain a better understanding of mathematics. In the book Making Sense, Hyber and co-authors say that tasks make all the difference. If our students are always completing the same simple tasks, they will likely only be able to complete those simple activities. For example, if a student's work focuses solely on worksheet exercises, they will become better at worksheet exercises. However, if you try to get them to dig deeper into the reasoning behind the problem, the student will likely be unable to understand. If we want our students to have a strong understanding of material, we must engage them with a variety of different problem-solving activities. According to Hybert and co-authors, if they spend most of their time reflecting on how things work, on how various ideas and procedures are the same or different, on how they know on how what they know relates to the situations they encounter they are likely to build new relationships if we want our students to be able to be successful and have a strong understanding of mathematics we must make sure that we engage them in a variety of different ways we should be willing to have discussions find new problem solving methods and create activities that are fun and engaging for our students Although traditional educators argue clear expectations, demonstrations, and practice can deliver fully comprehensive material to students, Hybert and co-authors challenge this perspective and believe that the most important role for, educate, for a teacher is creating a classroom in which all students can reflect on math mathematics and communicate their thoughts and actions. Although well-presented information is an essential cornerstone, a mathematically composed education begins with a student's ability to rationalize concepts independently and take an active part in their own development. Shifting academic responsibility also frees teachers from the restraining position as the gatekeepers of all knowledge and individual progress, ultimately allowing for deeper and less superficial learning. As a subject of authority, a teacher should nourish this type of environment by providing simple, relevant direction and overseeing that the culture of their classroom continues to promote this philosophy. Modeling this theory, a dilemma emerges of how one can support students as thinkers and creative problem solvers, while also balancing how to help them learn important mathematics. If either demand of respecting mathematics as a discipline, as well as acknowledging students as thinkers, is not met absolutely, serious problems may arise. For example, students may digress into teacher pleasers who seek only to use methods they know will satisfy their instructor or devolve into a chaotic cluster with poor performance due to little assistance or direction. Hence, teachers should make sure to strictly assign meaningful tasks that are supported by appropriately constructed information that cannot be readily discovered and will benefit their pursuit in finding a solution. Furthermore, teachers must advocate for the kind of environment or culture in the classroom that supports reflection and communication by treating tasks as genuine mathematical problems. Holding these values at the very foundation of the classroom by putting reflection and communication at the forefront of mathematical understanding, teachers should implement these processes that encourage this type of learning when assigning and creating tasks. First, the task must allow the students to treat the situation as problematic, as something they need to think about rather than as a prescription they need to follow. In order to allow for deeper learning, students must see mathematical problems as something they need to complete instead of a laundry list of steps they need to strictly follow to find the correct answer. Mathematics should be approached through problem solving and not imitation of memorized algorithms or rules. One method teachers can use to promote 
This mentality is by stepping away from the restraints of a traditional curriculum and have students attempt to solve problems without any instruction or apparent strategies or expectations. This will engage their creativity and encourage them to use prior knowledge in new and innovative ways. Second, what is problematic about TASH should be the mathematics itself rather than other aspects of the situation. While it is important that teachers assign tasks that are free from confusion, students should also take accountability for their education and ensure to ask questions, stay focused, and comprehend with their teacher about any unclear instructions. Subsequently, teachers should take concerns seriously, implement resolutions, and frequently ask for feedback. Finally, in order for students to work seriously on the task, it must offer students the chance to use skills and knowledge they already possess. Time and practice is the key for full comprehension, leading to overall mathematical growth. Whatever skills time is spent on, will be improved over those that aren't nurtured regularly. Therefore, the significance of reflecting on past experience is vital is a vital attribute for academic progress. Students should spend most of their time reflecting on the way things work, on how various ideas and procedures are the same or different, on how what they already know relates to the situation they encounter, and build new relationships. In conclusion, Tasks that fit this criteria are tasks that can leave behind something of mathematical value for students. The practice of utilizing effective tasks within the classroom is an essential component of teaching. Although some would argue that tasks are merely a form of busy work, it is evident that students' ability to learn is greatly impacted by the relevancy of their tasks. When teachers choose to assign applicable tasks that emphasize the purpose of the lesson, they stimulate educational growth within young learners and increase their motivation towards learning as a whole. As teachers aim to expand their task-related knowledge, students will better develop mathematical understanding, enhance their overall engagement, and experience the relevancy of math in everyday life. For example, tasks should highlight various aspects of past lessons, giving students the opportunity to use former knowledge as building blocks for new mathematical contact. In doing so, students' expertise will be challenged, magnifying their ability to think critically about mathematical concepts. Because every task serves to foster varying skill sets, students will inevitably face trial and error at some point. As they stay persistent to complete these more difficult assignments, they'll begin to better identify the solving sets of complex problems and become proficient in many new concepts. With the implementation of mathematically rich concepts and tasks, educators can support the development of mathematical understanding, enhance students' interest in the subject, and optimize children's overall educational experience. Thank you.